I'm going to perform a magic trick using a device in which a battery compartment is connected to a junction box that distributes the power to four different circuits. Each circuit has a switch and a light with matching colors. I turn the device on and, when I flick a switch, it powers the light in front of it. If I change the colors of the lights, each switch will still power the light of the corresponding color. If I change the colors of the switches, the same thing happens. The colors of the lights and the switches still match. Now I break a light, which means that I remove its color. The corresponding switch will stop working, but the three other switches work the same. The way to fix this is to remove the color from one of the switches. Then, that switch will power the colorless light. Of course, all the other switches still have the same expected behavior. If I break a second light, the corresponding switch will also stop working and now the colorless switch will power both lights. And if I remove the color from all the lights, the colorless switch will power the four lights. Finally, I put everything back together again and each switch will power the matching light in front of it. So, how does this work? Inside the junction box there is a computer, a small Arduino, and in fact all the switches and all the lights are directly connected to that computer. Inside each installation there are two wires. Oh, and the resistors between the switches and the lights are not connected. They are just there for misdirection. During the performance, the program that is running on the computer goes through several stages. All those stages, but a few ones, have a learning phase and a playing phase. I will indicate them as we go. Let us now repeat the performance detailing the inner works of the program. When the device is powered up, the program is loaded and goes into the learning phase of its first stage where I basically define the order in which the lights are powered. I power them from left to right, but that order is arbitrary, as long as I remember it throughout the performance. Now, I can play with the switches at will. If I wait for 5 seconds, the program goes into its next stage, where it will power the lights from left to right, regardless of the order in which the switches are flicked. I just have to make sure that I flick the switches that match the correct colors. Once all the switches have been flicked, the device goes into the playing phase of this stage, and I can flick the switches at will. The program remembers which lights to power. In the next stage, the device will, again, power the lights from left to right, regardless of the switches. And once all the switches have been flicked, I can play with them. During the next stage, the first flicked switch will not power any light, but will rather tell the device which light has no color. The three remaining switches will still power the lights defined in the previous stage. Now, we get to another stage in which the first flicked switch will power the colorless light that the program remembers from the previous stage, while the remaining switches keep the same behavior. In the next stage, the process is repeated for a second broken light. Again, I flick the switch corresponding to the color that was removed, the device learns the position of the new colorless light, and the switch with no color will power both lights. The new stage has no learning phase. The colorless switch will light the four lights and all the other switches will become inactive. Of course, I will have removed the colors from all the lights. Finally, we get to the last stage, in which each switch will simply power the light in front of it. This was Switch the Lights. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video and feel free to subscribe.